Hi guys, welcome back. Just going to do a uh, service on my uh, four-stroke lawnmower today. Which, uh, if you don't know the difference between four-stroke, uh, four-stroke in layman's terms basically has a crankcase like your car which holds oil, where two-stroke you put the oil in with the petrol. So this one's a four-stroke. So we're going to change the oil today and uh, have a look at the air filter. It's very easy, this lawnmower here is 30 years old. I remember my grandmother, late grandmother, bought this back in 1989. And ever since then I've always changed the oil as soon as it looks a little bit dark. And the air cleaner, and uh, it's still going 30 years later. It's still, you know, once a month or probably less than that, it gets an hour's work. So, uh, and I used to live on some acreages where it took me two hours to mow it. So still uh, the point I'm trying to make is if you keep the oil nice and clean and your air cleaner things just seem to last forever the only thing I notice with it is uh, is when you first started it puffs a little bit of smoke out of the exhaust never had to put any oil in though so I'm not sure whether that's valve seals or just a bit of wear or something I'm not sure but it still runs fine Anyway, let's check the oil now. It's actually not that dark. It's hardly even got a, a tinge to it. You probably won't be able to see it. But there's a full mark about there. Just, I'm, I'm re it really probably doesn't need doing, but I'm doing it just for the, for the film, you know. So things you probably need to do this. Well, let's check the, might as well check the air filter first. This one's got a snorkel on it, which is a lot better because if there's a lot of dust, all the dust is more down low. But this one up here just has a simple air filter like that. Now me being a little bit slack, I only replaced this for the first time a few years ago and uh, to me the old one didn't look that bad but uh, when I started it up it had so much more power it was amazing having the clean air you know. So that's okay. Alright, so what we really need is uh, an empty drum or something to put the old oil in and some fresh oil I'm not I've never been fussy about what I put in it it only holds about a litre um, so I usually just put what's left over from my cars in this case I've got some diesel oil that was left over from a diesel boat that I had a few years back so that's what I'm going to put in today and the way I do it um, if you've got a bad back, don't do it because you've got to lift it. And uh, that's <laughs> there actually is a drain plug underneath, but um, you've got to pull all the, the blades off and everything to get to it. It looks like a drain plug anyway, I've never taken it out, but to me this is an easier way of doing it. But like I say, you've got to have a, uh, you've got to have a strong back. So take the dipstick out. Get your, uh, your empty drum, I fold the handle down. Now this can get a bit messy because it doesn't always go in where you want it to go. <laughs> but I basically all I'm going to do is lift it and tip it upside down. So I recommend doing it when it's cold <clears throat> because um, if you've got some petrol in your tank it will spill out and you don't want petrol going over a, uh, a hot hot engine because it could catch fire so and it doesn't matter if a bit of petrol runs out because it's going to uh, it'll just evaporate anyway so anyway let's give this a go just like that if you can see it it actually looks darker now that I'm watching it come out than what it looks like on the stick. The 
Yeah, and there is a bit of petrol coming out too. Or gas, depending on where you are. It is starting to get heavy. <laughs> This drum's got a uh, a little tap on it, so it makes it a lot easier. I usually take the uh, the cap off up the top, otherwise it will. Uh, you got to let the air in so it comes out nice and easy. This is a bit boring, <laughs> filling it up. Just fast forward. Whoops. I'll probably spill some. Okay, I'll check the level now. Like I say, it only holds about a litre or so. Actually, that's enough. I might just give it a little bit more for good luck. Whoops, a bit of rubbish just went in. <laughs> Hopefully that it's there's no oil filters on these little engines. Yeah. Don't be surprised if you uh, when you if you try to restart it because you've tipped it upside down, it might be a bit hard to start, and you probably will get some smoke because oil's been on the cylinders, the cylinder, and all that sort of stuff. I'll see if I can get it going. and away she goes so that's basically it um, the spark plug I changed that a few years ago just because I wanted to the old one looked fine but I put a new one in anyway um, yeah so anyway that's about it the only thing is this one that does have a dipstick as I showed you and um, some may not have that so some may just have a little screw plug and when it's when you screw when you fill it up to the top that'll be full where this one's got a dipstick all right well thanks for watching i plan to do one on the car i do a similar sort of thing with my car as well and uh, obviously this can save you money if you do it yourself like that and same with the car i save myself some money doing doing that on my, uh, by myself too. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something. Any questions, leave them below. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see, if you'd like to see uh, my do the, me do the car down the track, give us a sub and uh, subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you know when I've uploaded something. 
But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.